Hey guys, it's Katie from HeyKatie.net. Um, as you might have noticed, I haven't really been making videos lately, and that is mostly um, due to, to be honest, it's been a bit of depression. Uh, I've struggled with that for many, many years, and uh, without getting too political, the current climate of our country has me uh, a little bit overwrought, and so I haven't been uh, as creative as I want to be. I haven't really been updating my blog. Uh, I have been doing a lot of sort of hand lettering and stuff like that, which has been fun. I share that stuff on my Instagram. Uh, but even then, I'm not really doing a huge amount. So I kind of feel like I'm losing my mind and uh, I really want to get back to being creative. Uh, and I'm kind of struggling for ideas at the moment uh, of what you guys actually want to see. So if you kind of have a request of something that you want to see, uh, any projects that you want, any sort of ideas on kid-friendly crafts or any art that you want to see or tutorials or anything that you think that I might be good at, let me know because right now I'm just, I'm really struggling with my creativity. Um, but I want to get it back and I want to get back on YouTube because I really love being here and I get so much support and you guys are so awesome. Uh, so anyway, with that out of the way, uh, I have had a few requests uh, lately through comments and emails and Instagram and other places uh, with people who were curious about, uh, because I posted a video you know, a few weeks ago uh, about my weight loss um, and what I want to do to lose weight and because uh, I've been tracking it in my bullet journal and I showed you guys my spread and how I'm keeping myself motivated and keeping um, track of everything. And so uh, I've had requests for people for me to update uh, ever so often about my uh, weight loss initiative, I guess. Uh, and to be fair, I thought that was kind of a good idea. It's not a particularly creative video, but I thought it might interest some people. Um, and I can show you kind of what my bullet journal is looking like. Uh, although it's probably a little bit out of date because uh, I haven't quite updated it uh, lately. But, excuse me, uh, I thought I'd get started. Uh, so the first thing that I wanted to talk about is what I'm actually doing uh, to lose weight. And that is I actually started... Obviously, like on the 1st of January was my, I'm starting, I'm going to start the new year and be on a diet and I'm going to lose weight. And on the 8th, I weighed myself uh, on the 1st and I weighed just under 200 pounds, which was like, eh, oh my God. Uh, and then <laughs> I weighed in on the 8th and I weighed exactly the same <laughs> because I hadn't really done my part. I hadn't changed any eating habits or done any exercise and I had just kind of forgotten, I guess, or just hadn't found the motivation and time got away from me. Uh, and so on the 8th, I kind of thought, all right, you know what, I've just, I've got to do it. So that week I basically um, started trying to put, get some motivation. Uh, again, I was struggling a little bit with depression, um, but I wanted to do something. And so I did a couple of exercises, but again, I wasn't doing a huge amount. I started tracking what I ate on my fitness pal and I set my calorie goal to under what I needed. Um, and I still wasn't seeing any movement on the scale. And then I started reading and hearing about, um, the ketogenic diet, which I'm not here to tell you is an amazing, fantastic diet and everybody should do it. Um, but it's something that a friend of mine had told me about many, many months ago. Uh, and it had worked for her. She said the pounds just kind of fell off. So I contacted her on Facebook and I said, Hey, tell me more about this ketogenic diet. You know, what is it? What do I have to do? And she said that, uh, she basically explained it to me, which is that it's kind of like Atkins in that it's low carb. And if you've ever done the induction phase of Atkins, you know, you have to keep your carbs to under 20 carbs a day. Um, and so that was, um, that's kind of how it starts. It's that it's low carb, high fat. So instead of, eating tons of protein like you do on Atkins and low carbing it. You low carb it, but you eat tons of fat and moderate protein. So it sounds kind of counterintuitive, um, but I thought, you know what? I've tried every other diet going, why not try this one? So I started it on the Thursday and I still weighed 199, I think it was 0.4 pounds. I started at 199.6 and on, this, on the day I started the keto diet, I weighed 199.4. So, um, yeah, I started doing this ketogenic diet and it requires obviously a calorie deficit 
and low carb and high fat. Uh, and you have to keep your macronutrients balanced in the ketogenic way, which for me is 5% carbs, uh, which is 20 um, grams or less. And then I have 20% protein and 75% uh, fat. And some people actually do 80% fat and 15% protein and the 5% carbs. It Basically, there are calculators online you can use uh, to do it. But that was what I decided on. So that Sunday, uh, the 15th, I think it was, I weighed in again and I had lost five pounds in three days. And I was kind of like, whoa, that's exciting uh, and unexpected. So um, yeah, I was pretty pleased about that. Uh, you can see that since then, this is my bullet journal. And uh, let's see this way. You can kind of see this is my weight loss. Every week I weigh in. Um, so in the last one, two, three, four, five, six weeks since the beginning of the year, I've lost just a smidge under 12 pounds, which that's way good. Um, you might remember from my tracker that I had set a goal that I wanted to lose. I wanted to lose 60 pounds this year. And so the goal was to lose five pounds a month. Five times 12 is 60 pounds. Um, and it's the second month of the year and I'm already more than double that. So that's, you know, pretty good or more than double my goal. <laughs> Uh, so this is my weight loss tracker, as you can see. Um, I set it up sort of like a game board. So every week I put the amount that I've lost um, for that week. So the first week I lost five pounds. The second week it was four pounds. I think it was a little over four pounds. The third week it was two pounds. And then last week um, I lost like 0.4 pounds, which was slightly disappointing given the fact that I've lost loads of weight so far but it was kind of expected. Again, I haven't done enough exercise, and by that I mean I haven't done any exercise <laughs> whatsoever, uh, but I'm hoping to reintegrate exercise into my life going forward. Uh, but it's just not been a priority lately, and with my depression, it's been kind of meh, like I really have to push myself. So that's my next goal. Um, one of the things that, again, I'm tracking in my journal, which I really like is, um, my, I'm sorry, my reward chart. Uh, so obviously that first week, you know, those first three days of eating ketogenically, I got my first reward on my reward chart because I have five pound incremental rewards. So the first week I got um, a new haircut, which you would never even know right now because it looks so awful. Um, but it, it was a really nice haircut at the time. I just, I don't take care of my hair very well. I'm the worst. And especially when I'm depressed, it's just not a priority. Um, and then I hit my 10 pound goal, which the reward is a mani petty, and I haven't actually cashed that in yet. So you can see on the first one, I put in when I cashed it in. And so I did that on the 13th of January. Um, and then my mani petty, I earned it, you know, two weeks ago, but I haven't cashed it in yet. Um, and hopefully I'll hit the 15 pound fairly soon and I can buy myself a new workout outfit, which is the next reward. That said, because I haven't been doing a lot of exercise, probably don't even deserve that workout outfit. Maybe I'll buy just a regular outfit. Okay. And so another thing that I added, um, to my, um, bullet journal, you can see, I think I covered this in the last uh, video. This is my meal planner where I can put my, um, shopping lists and then plan out every meal. But I don't do that because eating ketogenically, one of the good things about it, like if you can plan it, that's the best way to do it because at the end of the day, because you have to be so specific with your macronutrients, it's better to kind of plan each meal to hit the macros. And then at the end of the day, you don't have to worry. I don't do well with meal planning. I like to eat what I want to eat when I want to eat it. So if I have to eat a specific thing at a certain time, I probably won't stick to it very long. So I have been very um, careful in that I track all of my macros and every single thing I eat or drink goes into my fitness pal. Um, which is an awesome thing because you can set your goals for each macronutrient uh, to be a specific percentage and you can set your calorie goal, etc. cetera. Um, and for me, like it has been amazing. You can't really see that. Um, I've recently taken my calorie goal down every day because I'm not doing exercise um, and the weight's not coming off super duper fast or it stalled slightly this week. So I've brought my calorie goal down a little bit. Um, and 
I'm trying to hit that now. And I think that we'll see um, another, you know, uh, improvement on the losing of weight. So, um, but anyway, one of the things that I did as well is I set up this ketogenic food list, um, which on this side is kind of the master food list. And it's all the stuff that I can pretty much eat freely and don't have to worry too much about because they're all ketogenic friendly. And then on this side, this is the stuff I have to worry slightly more about. And But as long as I like to keep good track and count, you know, every calorie and every macro, then they're still pretty okay to eat. Um, I haven't done the third page, which is the stuff you probably shouldn't touch. But basically when it comes to um, ketogenic, you can't eat grains. You're not going to be eating a lot of fruit. You're not going to be eating, you know, starches. Uh, you're not going to be eating beans and stuff like that because they're high carb. Um, you can eat certain things uh, and certain fruits and vegetables because they have high fiber and that kind of negates some of the carbs. Um, but on a true ketogenic diet, you don't count net carbs, uh, which is carbs minus fiber. Uh, you just count full on carbs, um, or at least that's how I do it because it's a lot easier. Um, and anyway, so the, <laughs> the next thing that I have been tracking, and you might remember from my original video that I have this really super cute uh, measurement thing that I did. So it's this page that I put in there, which has actually been copied a lot. People have been um, asking me if they can use the same thing and I'm absolutely happy for them to do that. Uh, but this is my inches loss thing. And all I did is I wrote down all of the, my measurements at the very beginning of the year on the 1st of January. Um, and I'm, I put in an after column for when I'm done, but I started thinking that doesn't help me because I need to actually track it along the way to see some you know, changes and be motivated by that. So I created an overall inches lost for 2017 page, which I think is kind of ingenious and I've got a really good feedback from people. Um, so I may actually create it as a printable and offer it. Um, but basically this is it. So I've created um, a tape measure graphic sort of thing for each measurement area. So we've got like um, neck, chest, waist, hips, upper arm, forearm, thighs, calves, wrist, and ankle. Um, and I decided that every three weeks I would measure myself because two weeks seems too quick and four weeks seems too long. So I don't know, in my head, three weeks sounded good, but I'll probably just measure every once in a while and just add. Um, again, I'm going to do different colors for different measurement days. So my very first measurement, um, update you can see that i lost quite a bit that's eight inches overall so i lost a quarter of an inch from my neck which is awesome i lost let's see uh two full inches from my chest my boobs um, i lost an inch and a half from my waist which was awesome um i lost uh let's see an inch and a half an inch and let's see four, seven, an inch and three quarters from my hips uh, and, and half an inch from my upper arms, a quarter inch from my forearm, uh, an inch and a quarter from my thighs. I didn't lose anything from my calves, <laughs> which is kind of sad. I lost a quarter inch from my wrist, which my friend made fun of me for. She's like, oh, you and your fat wrists. I don't know. Like, I remember that your wrists are actually a good indicator of your body fat, so I just added them in there. I didn't expect to actually lose from them until I was really skinny, but I lost a quarter of an inch. Uh, I also lost a quarter of an inch from my ankle, so check me out. I've got super thin ankles and wrists. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> um, so that's really uh, how my weight loss has been going. Uh, I know it's kind of boring to uh, hear about other people's success, but I know that for me, when I hear what other people are doing and I can see results from them, then it kind of inspires me, uh, which is why I love uh, kind of trolling the hashtag uh, Transformation Tuesday, because it's so amazing to just see these amazing people and what they've done to better their lives and their health, uh, which is not to say that you have to be thin to have a perfect life, not at all. Um, my personal goal is not to be thin, it's to be healthy and fit, and be able to keep up with my kids. Uh, but it's also to be mentally sound. And right now that's what I'm working toward taking care of. Um, one of the good things about this diet that I'm doing, and I don't I hesitate to call it a diet. It's a way of eating. It's a lifestyle change. But um, high fat is actually really good for your brain. Uh, it can help you think faster. It gives you more energy. And the whole reason the diet works is because when you fill up on fat, um, it keeps you 
not so hungry. Um, so it keeps you fuller for longer and therefore you don't eat as much. And if you're choosing good healthy fats like avocados or olive oil or coconut oil, things like that, um, high fat milk uh, and cream and things like that, as long as you are you know, careful and cognizant of what you're going through and like realize the effects it has on your body, it's actually much healthier than trying to have low fat alternatives that are actually filled with sugar. So that's all I'll say about the diet because I'm not trying to convince anyone to use it. I've had a lot of people tell me, oh, it's so dangerous. You're going to be in trouble. This is terrible for you. I've checked it over with my doctor as you should too if you try anything. Um, and right now the dangers of obesity are far greater than the dangers that this diet is presenting to me. So I don't know. You can kind of take a look at me yourself if you see that... I look different than, you know, tell me because I would love to tell, to have somebody affirm the fact that I look better than I did, you know, six weeks ago. But uh, at the moment, I, I'm really just um, trying to get by uh, and be a little bit more mentally sound and get back to being creative because being creative actually uh, helps my depression hugely. So once again, I hope this video was satisfactory for those who are curious about my weight loss journey. Um, and for everybody else, I will get back to regularly scheduled programming soon. I'm really excited because I just realized that we hit over 400 subscribers and I'm just kind of over the moon. That means so much to me. Um, and I think I wanna have a giveaway uh, of some sort when I hit 500. So if you're at all interested, um, let me know what kind of prizes you would like to see. Uh, I'm not gonna give away an iPad or anything like that, but um, I was thinking some sort of bullet journal bundle or some art supplies or something. Uh, so give me some ideas and keep subscribing. Tell your friends. Don't forget to follow me on social media. I'm at HeyKatieBlog everywhere. Uh, so come and find me. Say hello. Give me more reason to kind of get back in gear because I'd love to know people are wanting to hear from me. Um, other than that, I will see you guys really soon, hopefully with a really cool video. So I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye.